I'm from Montreal here and I was born there and um, my whole life I was thinking that I would be like uh, a police officer but then uh, I heard about that law that was coming and that I couldn't like do what I want because of my scarf uh, and I think that it's sad because I feel like it's not the the symbol that is important but the person itself. 18 year old Heba Hassan dropped out of her college program to become a cop. Under Quebec's new religious symbols ban, a hijabi woman like her will not be able to police our streets. Hassan's hijab has never held her back before. She was always active and played sports and knew she wanted an interesting and hands-on job, so she started in the policing program. After her first session, though, she heard she might not ever be able to work in her chosen profession. When I chose to do police officer, it was to make my life the way I want it to be. So it was when, when that law came out and told me that I can't wear the hijab because of this, I was disappointed, seriously. Because I feel like it's sad. I can't do what I love to do because of this, because of what I'm wearing. And for me, it's just a symbol that it, my religion told me to, to wear this. And I love it. You know? Heba has removed herself from policing classes, taking prerequisite courses now while she tries to find another career path. I thought this would be my dream happening and then from just because of a, something a lot like this that came out, I can't do what I want like one day like this. And it was really sad. It was disappointing for me. It's also a loss for the Montreal police, who recently held a job fair in an attempt to attract more visible minorities to the force. Currently, only 8.5% of Montreal police are visible minorities, compared to 33% of Montrealers who are visible minorities or indigenous. Mayor Valérie Plante plans to present the CAQ a commission outlining the impacts the bill will have on a city as diverse as Montreal. She's vowed to defend Montrealers. It's not only women that are touched but everybody because even like Jewish people everyone could can't do what they want just because of that you know and that's the thing that makes me a little bit like feel sad about that and I thought that in Quebec we could be like more open and you know so when that happened it was a little bit shock shook for me like I was like what happened in Montreal Emily Campbell City News